come on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking on Breakers Disc Golf Course in West Olive, Michigan. This course is a much more professional style layout. So let's get focused, make some putts, and let's go toss some plastic. We've made it to hole one of Breakers Disc Golf Course. And guys, let me tell you something. On the way here, I stopped to get some beef jerky and it's just in my teeth everywhere. So I feel like I've already shot a bogey on the morning but we're starting off with a long one, 370 feet downhill. Really good looking shot. Oh yeah, we will take that. I'm not gonna lie guys, this is probably the best drive I've ever had here on hole one. And at 7 a.m. there was already people up at the hole one tee pad, so I felt a little rushed. But sometimes that shows you, don't overthink your shots, just step up to the tee pad and just play the game of disc golf. Good start to the round. Hole two, 340 feet, the basket's dead straight, but you do have room to work a hyzer or a sidearm shot. Oh, get up. Skip. Great line, just too short. We still have about 70 feet to the basket. Nice little run. For the par. Hole three, 275 feet, dead straight. There's really no risk on this hole. You just don't want to finish too far left or right. And you guys, if you ever come play here, I'm giving a shout out to that Marathon gas station across the street. Best gas station pizza ever. Oh, wow. Oh, good tree kick. We needed that. We got a really nice kick off of one of these little trees back here. We still have about 12 feet for the birdie. And you know what, it counts. That counts. One quick thing I wanna say guys, for those of you who leave the positive comments on my videos, I could not put into words how much that means. Sometimes making and grinding out these videos can feel a little demoralizing, but those positive comments send my motivation through the roof and allow me to keep making content. So I really wanna take a minute and say thank you to those people out there for the kind words. Hole four, it's only 235 feet, but this is where things get a little spicy because it's dead straight down this very tight tunnel. Oh my goodness, that is so, oh, that last tree. Luckily that tree kick did not hurt us too bad. We still have about a 25 footer uphill and this would make for a pretty hot round. Let's go. Hole five, this is a hard one. 340 to 350 feet, depending if you take the hyzer out or the long ante shot. I'm gonna take the straight shot. Oh no, that's gonna be a tricky spot. Think I have room to go with the tomahawk up and over this. That would be a huge ante shot. And there is a downslope by the basket. And if your ante shot's too high, it's gonna drift into oblivion. All right, not great. Well guys, this is the downslope I was telling you about. I probably should have just went with a nice and easy ante shot. No reason to go with a big thumber there. Let's see if we can save our par. For the bogey. Hole six, 210 feet. There's this finicky dead straight up the middle route, and then you can hang it wide for a hyzer, but it has to crash back really sharp. And I'm actually gonna try to go up and over everything with a tomahawk and see if we can redeem ourselves. Looking good. Oh, I think that might be parked. Really good redemption on that tomahawk throw. 
Today's video is going to be a little bit more serious, guys. Breakers is a very good, very well-designed course that will put your skills to the test. And if you're not really focused in on the round, it'll eat you up in a heartbeat. I feel like when I play this course, I become a better disc golfer. And that way I can kind of switch up the content for you guys. I'll have some really funny videos and some more serious videos. You guys let me know which ones do you like more. Hole seven, par four, 425 feet. It's just basically dead straight with the left finish way down there. This hill right in front of us makes it very hard to get the right height off the tee. And of course we have this tree in the dead center that looks like it's been hit 12,000 times. Oh, highs are out, be good. That was a really good one. Really happy with that drive. We still have about 70 to 80 feet for the eagle. I've never eagled this hole, so let's try to do it for the channel. Come on. Oh no, good run. Tap in birdie, we'll take those any day. Hole eight, we're gonna try a new camera angle for this one. It's only 190 feet, but it's kind of a finicky hyzer lane. And if you go past the basket, that is the start of the Grand Canyon. So it's highly recommended that you play it short, but not short enough to leave yourself a death putt. Uh-oh, get down. Oh boy. Oh guys. I played this exactly how I wanted to. We left it just a little bit short to give us a nice tap in birdie. We completely avoided the Grand Canyon, played this hole to a T. We still only have about 80 feet, 60 feet uphill. Oh gosh. Well guys, we lost our dignity and our ACL all in one swoop there. We still have about 12 feet for the par. Hole nine, 220 feet over the pond. You can really go with any shot shape you want on this hole. I have actually aced this one before, so let's see if we can do it again for the camera. Come on. Oh, good run. For the birdie, this one feels like a must get. Hole nine break, and another reason that I am so serious today is ticks are present, guys. Take extreme caution when playing on the disc golf course. I'll put it this way, this is the Tix disc golf course and we're just trying to play it. You might have a disc go in the woods or the middle of the fairway for that matter and it might just disappear. The ticks are going to come collect a disc or two throughout the round and they just bring them back to the colony. And if you don't pay that offering, some people just kind of disappear. I haven't seen Craig in a week, and the last thing he told me was that he was coming here to play a solo round, and he does not respect the ticks. Occasionally, when you're playing breakers, you will see people in full suits of armor. That's how intense this has gotten. This is not a joke, guys. Keep that in mind if you come to breakers. Ticks are present. Hole 10, this is the only hole at breakers that I'm not the biggest fan of. It just seems a little too throw straight and get lucky. Nope, caught a tree. All right guys, we're in full par save mode. We still have about 150 feet, absolutely dead straight. That looks pretty good. Nice, that should be a putt. Really good approach shot with the old Discraft Breeze. We still have about 12 feet to save our par. Hole 11, this one is tough. Par four, 500 feet, you wanna go exactly about 320, 330 and crash left. Last time I played this hole, I slipped, I threw the disc too high and I actually cut that tree right in half. So we're gonna try not to do that again and we wanna walk away with a birdie, which is very hard on this hole. Oh no, highs are out. Oh my goodness, I'm in the next hole's fairway. 
Well guys, we absolutely crushed that drive, but not in a helpful way. We can either throw it completely sideways as a pitch out, but I think I'm gonna go for this little cheeky lane up here, and I'm gonna go with a little flick shot, hopefully give ourselves a long putt. Okay, I'll take that. We scrambled pretty good out of that situation. We still have probably about 85 feet to the elevated basket for the birdie. Lost the mic, missed the putt. I am definitely happy with the par on this hole. Hole 12, 245 feet. This is a really good sidearm hole, or you can go with a big turnover shot, but the line's really hard to hit with that. Come on. Dang it. We landed in the fairway though. Tree kick was not the end of the world, but it would have been really nice to see that shot play out. We still have about 65 feet for the birdie. Good run. For the par. All right guys, I wanna know. What are your favorite baskets? I don't know too much about the different basket designs. I think there can be maybe up to three layers and X amount of chains per basket. Let me know if there's any restrictions on the baskets because I'm unaware of that. I really like these ones at Breakers because this back layer, all the chains are also connected horizontally instead of all just hanging vertically. So you guys let me know and share some knowledge with me. Hole 13, 305 feet. This hole is an actual horseshoe. I don't think I've ever even gotten within circle two on this hole. I'm sure there is a way with a roller or the best skip of your life, but I just let two people pass through. I heard about 97 chain hits, so I'm not sure what's up with that. Hopefully we only have one. It's big skip. We'll take it. Like I said, this is about as good as I can do on this hole. We still have probably 70 to 80 foot putt for the birdie. Oh, we almost went in off the tree. For the par, I still got it. Hole 14, 245 feet, dead straight. You do have room for a right to left finish. That was not our best effort. Let's try to salvage our birdie here. We still have about 50 feet and it's a pretty low ceiling putt. Oh, Hunter. For the par. Well, 15, 300 feet from the tee pad, it looks like you need to throw some kind of big hyzer, but really, if you just throw and land dead straight, you're gonna have a decent putt for birdie. Overturned it. Man, am I hitting a lot of trees today. Fortunately, we did catch this tree. We still have probably about 75 feet for the birdie. Oh no, what is going on? All right guys, we really need to focus up here. This is not the stretch of holes that I wanna start struggling on. So let's just focus up and end the round solidly. One thing about breakers that I really love, and this really only applies to locals because I'm a part of the Facebook page, is they run polls and they're constantly trying to see how they can improve the course, which I think is really awesome. It's the only course in my area that I see actively doing that. You guys let me know, what do your local courses do to try to constantly improve to make it a better playing situation for all the disc golfers involved? Hole 16, 275 feet. You wanna hang straight for a little bit and then finish right. It's a good sidearm hole or turnover. Oh my goodness, we are falling apart. All right, we're back in par save mode. We still have probably 140 feet dead straight. We gave that a little run. Nice par save. 
These last two holes are pretty tricky out here at Breakers. Hole 17, 310 feet. You want to hang dead straight for quite a while and then crash left. I'm going to throw this beautiful brand new Firebird that my buddy Boots just gave me. It's the same one that I lost. So hopefully we can beat it back in and get it to where I loved mine. Don't hit that, okay? We'll take that, that's a birdie putt. All right guys, we have about a 30 footer for the birdie. <laughs> nice putt. That's exactly why it's so important to keep a healthy mindset. I know just a year ago when I was messing up those last few holes, my mindset would have tanked and I would have started playing horribly. So it's really important to stay positive and just stay calm. Hole 18, this one's a doozy. It's 375 feet. About 350 of that need to be dead straight and you need to finish right. I like to take this little sneaky backdoor hyzer lane. Last time I filmed here when I was practicing for my YouTube channel, I absolutely parked this hole and I don't think I'll ever do that again. But let's see if we can do it back to back times on camera. There goes the microphone, skip. Oh, got caught up in those bushes up there. Still a very serviceable tee shot. We have about a downhill 85 foot putt for the birdie. That's not it. Come on, Hunter. I am more than happy to end on a par here at Breakers. And that wraps up Breakers Disc Golf Course in West Olive, Michigan. And guys, like I said earlier, overall, this course is just extremely solid. The baskets are really nice. The tee pads are really nice. It does have that more professional style layout, but people of all skill levels can come play here and have a really good time. So if you ever find yourself in the Grand Haven area, maybe checking out Lake Michigan, this is a must stop if you like playing disc golf. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it at all, guys. There are some really tricky holes out here, but I love that because if you wanna get the birdie, if you wanna go for the extra low score, you really have to risk it and have a lot of trust in your drives off the tee. But if you really slip up and struggle, the course does give back, which is awesome. There's, there's a handful of birdie opportunities out here to help you kind of keep your round at a decent level. It helps your mindset stay in a good spot. And overall, it's it's just a very good designed course. It can get a little crowded out here at Breakers, so keep that in mind. And I know Sundays are pretty much off limits because it is located on a pretty big church's property. So Sundays can get very chaotic out here. So I would try to avoid that day. Overall, I'd give Breakers Disc Golf Course the solid score of 8.6 out of 10. This is one of the best well-rounded courses I've ever played and the community is always trying to improve that. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Now it's your turn to go toss some plastic. <laughs>